What's going on YouTube? So today we're going to do some pepper reviews. If you enjoy the video, like, subscribe, uh, comment anything you'd like to say, and uh, yeah, hit post notifications for all upcoming videos. Thanks. So today we have the Mad Hatter. God, I love the way these things look. See, they've got like a little triple crown. They are some crazy looking pods for sure. Uh, they go from like green to like orangey yellow and then they turn red. Pretty lightweight. Skin feels pretty dense. But they are super cool looking. Look at that. That is just crazy. Let's go ahead and get a cross section. See what we're working with you. Wow, it was like making juice bubbles when I was cutting it. So you can see right here, not many seeds whatsoever. I mean, it probably has 20 in here. The skin is very thin, but you can even see that glisten. It's very juicy looking. It does have a, a pretty good floral smell. It smells pretty sweet. Very similar to the way the Serrano smells. Go ahead and get a little cut of this. And we'll see what she tastes like. Mad Hatter. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Very low heat, next to zero. There is like the slightest little tingle, but freshly ground black pepper, in my opinion, is hotter. Um, very juicy, super crunchy, a very dense pepper. It doesn't break apart as easy, and these are not dry at all. I would say the only, I mean, I don't really feel a burn, but I felt just the slightest tingle on my tongue. Practicality for these, I would pickle them, 100%. With the thick skin, they'll stay crunchy, pickled, and honestly, I think they would taste delicious. I will try that and let y'all know in another video how they taste pickled if I pickle them. I would definitely do that, though. Um, I think that would be the best way about it. Uh, they do taste really good, though. They actually have a flavor. Uh, it's a very mild flavor. But they do have a, like a jalapeno and a bell pepper had a baby, and that's kind of the flavor. It's a little sweet, but not too sweet. It's It has that jalapeno type floral-esque, but it's still not as strong. It's really dead center of both. It just doesn't have as much heat as a jalapeno at all. Juiciness, very juicy. I would say, actually, for the size, it's one of the more juicy ones I have. It was even, like, bubbling when I was cutting it. Growing them, super easy. Low maintenance. I actually got the plant when it was almost dead when I got it. I did not grow these from seed. And it's been producing all year. It's been producing quite a lot. I do cut these up and put them in eggs sometimes, but that's just because I had a bunch of them. They're not bad in eggs, it's just a textural thing. They don't soften up a whole lot, so I don't love them in eggs, but they do taste good in them, flavor-wise. So practicality is a little low. I would probably, now if you like making pickles, go with them. I really feel like they're gonna make delicious pickles, and I will find that out for y'all. I really hope y'all enjoyed the video today, guys. If you did, drop a like and a comment.